Welcome to TwoFingerBanjo.com. I'm Matt Brown. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how I like to play the two-finger banjo part for the lovely song Say Darlin' Say. I'll include lyrics below the listing on twofingerbanjo.com, so any of you who'd like to try your hand or your voice at singing it, um, you can see how, how I like to sing it. And in the listen portion of twofingerbanjo.com, on the playlist there, are several wonderful renditions with some of my favorite singers singing this very song. But we'll just focus on the banjo part right here. Here's the A part played slowly once. This tune has a rather strange form in that there are only six measures in the A part and six measures in the B. Usually we have four or eight measures in a part. We start with measure one sliding on the second string from second fret to fourth fret. And because we're in double D tuning, I'm going to play out of second position, meaning my index finger is going to play the second fret notes. Middle would play third ring for fourth, and then if we had a fifth fret, I would use my pinky. So, sliding from two to four on the second string, followed by five one, of course. So slide, five one, try that, ready, go. And then we leave this finger where it is. It's probably best to slide with your whole arm. I was trying to stick to just one finger, but maybe for now we'll do the whole arm. So slide, five, one, and then come back to the resultant note of our slide, second string, fourth fret. Still got index finger, and play second string, fourth fret. And then another five, one. That's measure one. So we have slide, five, one, two, five, one. And that two that I said, that second string is fourth fret. Ready, slide. And then we go back to second position where we're gonna stay for the rest of this line and walk down from second string, second fret, to second string open. And then we're gonna do a hammer on third string from zero to two. So what if we try that? Second fret of the second, open, hammer on the third string. Ready, go. And then we're going to have a 5-1, but it's going to be slightly different. Rather than open strings, which you could do, it sounds okay, but what I prefer is to hold down my first string at the third fret. And this implies the G major chord that the, the guitar player, if there is one, would, would be playing at this point. So that as you walk down, second fret, open, hammer, 5-1. Do you hear that, that G sound right there? Um, it's not quite as explicit as a big G chord up here, but still. Um, for this tune, we're going to have some five ones where you play fifth string like normal, but then first string, you hold down probably with, with ring finger um, and play first string, third fret. So the whole second measure, starting second string, second fret, is second, and then hammer, and then our G chord five one in this tuning. Ready, go. Ready, 
go. So measures one and two sound like this. And then I reset here, I hammer, and then the G chord, five, one. Try it, ready, play. The next measure, measure three, starts out of this G chord shape that we're in. Third string, second fret. And then one more of those five, one combos, but with the third fret still held down. So three, five, one, ready, go. And then you can let go gently of the first string note. We don't want to hear a pull off. Just want it to disappear. Because the rest of the measure is on the third string. A two to zero pull off. And notice that I try and just pull sideways rather than up. So pull off and then slide from that second fret. So you go back to second fret for a slide up to three. So that combo is two, zero, two, three, all on the third string. Try it, just the pull off slide, ready, go. Pull off slide again, ready, go. That wasn't a good one on my end. Hopefully you did it better than me. Let's try it again, ready, go. So the whole measure, if we start out of the G shape, we get three, five, one, pull off slide, your turn, go. One more time, ready, go. So once you feel good about that measure, and there's some strange stuff going in there, um, we'll do the top line, so the first half of the A part, measures one, two, and three. Here it goes, one, two, ready, slide. Hopefully that went well for you. Let's do it again, two more times. One, two, ready, slide. time for now. One, two, ready, go. Once that feels good, go on to the second half of the A part. The second half of the A part is measures four, five, and six. So if you're looking at the tab on twofingerbanjo.com or if you've printed it out, it's the second line on the page. And it starts with this measure. That's measure four. I'll teach it to you. Here we go, open second, and then open third. Open second, open third. And then we have a really fun hammer on. On the fourth string, we're gonna hammer from two to four. And you really have to slam that finger down. For me, I can do index to ring. If you have a smaller finger span, index to pinky would be okay. But I wouldn't try and do index to middle. That you might hurt yourself. So practice, make sure you can get a good clear hammer right there. And once you can, the measure is this. Two, three, hammer, five, one. Ready, go. Once that feels good, you're ready for measure five, which sounds like this. So it's mostly open strings. Three, three, five, one. Try that. Ready, go. Three, three, five, one. Ready, go. And we end with a two to four slide on the third string. So from notes B to C sharp. We're aiming for a D, open second, but that's next measure. So try the slide, two to four, and slide with your arm if you can. Let your whole hand follow the slide. Ready, go. And make sure you get a clear sound out of both, both halves of the slide. The starting note, and then 
you hear the, the journey up to the finishing note. So the whole measure, three, three, five, one, slide. Ready, go. Ready, go. And once that feels okay, you're ready for the final measure of the A part. It's all open strings. And it's gonna be two, five, one, four, five. Try it, ready, go. Two, five, one, four, five. Ready, go. Once that feels okay, we're gonna try measures four, five, and six here in the A part, and then we'll put the whole thing together after that. So measure four, five, and six, starting to open second. One, two, ready, play. Hammer. Slide. Let's do that again. Four, five, and six. One, two, ready, go. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Once that feels good, you're ready to put the A part together. Let's do two A parts in a row, nice and slowly. One, two, ready, slide. Let's do that same thing one more time. So two A parts in a row. And this is the part, the A part is what people usually sing over. So once this feels com comfortable, um, you could try singing over it or get your favorite singer to join you. One, two, ready, slide. Once that feels good, you're ready for the B part. Here's the B part played slowly. Now if you compare the B part to the A part, hopefully you'll notice that after the first six beats, that they're identical. So I don't need to show you all of the B part, I just need to show you the first measure, measure seven on the, on the tab, and the first two notes of measure eight, and you know the rest. So this should be a, a quick, quick portion of the video. Um, measure seven starts with a hammer on string one, hammering from zero to two. So that's index finger slamming down. And after you get that sound, hammer, then you just ring the fifth string three times with your thumb. That's very satisfying. So hammer, five, five, five. Try that. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then in measure eight, the only thing you haven't learned yet is quite approachable. It's to play open first string, 
and then open second string. And then everything else we can grab from the A part. So what if we practice all of measure seven, so the first measure of the B, plus the first two notes of measure eight. This is the entirety of what's different in the B part. So it would be hammer five, 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 open one, open two. Ready, go. Two more times, ready, go. Once more, ready, go. And then from then on, it's all things you know. We do the hammer on the third string from zero to two. Index is my fretting finger. And then we start that five one that has the G chord sound, so where we hold down first string at the third fret rather than open first. Um, if you're not looking at the tab, head over to twofingerbanjo.com to look at it in the intermediate tunes section. All this is the same. This is the whole B part. Let's try it. Let's try uh, some B parts, two in a row, played slowly. One, two, ready, go. for good, I'll leave out that final note on the page. That open fifth string is really only helpful if you're going back into the B or going back into the A to finish the tune when we play it for good. Just end on that open fourth. Let's play the whole song three times through, and if you'd like to sing, do so over the A parts. One, two, ready, slide. 